Let's move on to main topic number four. And our fourth main topic today gets submitted to us by Christopher D. And Christopher D. writes the following. Just read on Yahoo's film page that the Seth Rogen film An American Pickle from Sony is being dumped on HBO Max. The article didn't use the word dumped, but that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, this also happened with the Melissa McCarthy film Super Intelligence at the la last fall. I wonder how many other non-blockbuster type films that were being made for theatrical release will wind up getting quote-unquote dumped on streaming services and HBO. All right, thanks a lot for sending in that that uh, that topic, dude. Listen, first of all, a lot of people are saying right now to themselves, what movie? Seth Rogen's got this movie coming out. And by the way, you know, I, I love Seth Rogen stuff. I, I don't think every one of his projects are great, but I just think he's great. And when he's got a project going, I get very interested. I'm like, yeah, I, I didn't like... Uh, what was it? Food fight? The, the the food anime one? I didn't like that one. Um, his uh, one about North Korea, the dictator, is that what it's called? Didn't like that one either. He does not everything he makes, I think, is gold, but I really like him. And oh, man, that comedy he did with Charlize Theron last year, The Long Shot, I think it was called. So underrated. That comedy was great. Anyway. Seth Rogen's got that potential to pull these like uh, curveballs out that I just really appreciate. Anyway, he's got this movie coming out called American Pickle. And basically the gist is, if if I recall it correctly, the basic gist of, uh, oh, sorry, well, it wasn't uh, The Dictator, it was The Interview. It's called The Interview. Not very good, but whatever. So he's got this movie coming out called American Pickle. And it sounds like a Seth Rogen descriptor. So basically, this immigrant dude, played by Seth Rogen, comes over to the United States in like the 1920s, gets a job, and then falls into some kind of a pickle barrel where the pickle juices perfectly preserve him. It's like a Rip Van, Van Winkle story. Then in modern times, now in 2020, a century later, he comes out of the pickle barrel perfectly preserved, and he finds like either his grandson or his great-grandson, also played by Seth Rogen, who looks exactly like him, who's like a computer nerd and stuff like that, and has a totally different work ethic, an ooh, fish out of water story. I got to admit, it doesn't sound great to me, but there have been other Seth Rogen projects that have not sounded great to me that I've ended up loving. So whatever, it is what it is. So yes, they just made the announcement that they're going to move this thing onto HBO Max. Now, there are some movies that do get dumped to streaming. I don't think this is a ca the case with uh, this movie. I think this is simply the case that they just don't have anywhere else to put it right now. Like with everything, with all the theaters being locked down and there's no release dates to be had by anybody, you know, we're getting a lot of movies being shifted off. But as these movies get shifted off, it's creating no room for another film to come in there. And I think that's what's going on. And that's kind of what's being hinted at. This comes to us from Cineblend who writes, every film that was set to be released in the middle months of 2020 had to make the same decision. Either find a workable theatrical date later in the year or in 2021 or go to streaming. Sony Pictures has made a deal with HBO Max that will see American Pickle released on the upcoming platform instead of going to the big screen. In the press release about the news, it specifically cited that the move was made so that Sony could at least get the movie out there in 2020, despite theater closures as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. So <clears throat> Sony, it looks like, just basically looked at this and said, we've got nowhere to put this thing right now. And listen, this is going to become an increasing problem with the number of films. The longer the theater stays shut, for good reason, this is going to become a problem that gets worse and worse and worse. There are going to be more and more films that are like, you know, Robert Meyer Burnett is pointing out all the time on this show that movies are made with borrowed money. And that money is accruing interest. And that interest is huge. And the longer that a movie just sits on a shelf, it becomes more and more expensive to just hold on to. And there are going to be more projects there are going to be more movies the longer this thing stretch out that are going to have to make that decision. Do we let this thing sit on the shelf for another full year or more? Or we do we just at this point find some way to get it out there even if it's not ideal? And as we've talked about before, it seems to me that the movies that are most susceptible to this are going to be movies that don't have a lot of big box office potential anyway. Movies like Scoob. Movies like the Kumail Nagiani comedy that just got, uh, they just sold it off to, to Amazon. Movies like American Pickle, which still might be great, 
But let's face it, American Pickle wasn't going to make $400 million at the box office, right? It doesn't need to, but it just didn't need to. So you've got a film here that they've got nowhere to put it. They don't have any reasonable release date that they can grab that they don't think is a terrible release date. Everything's getting more crowded and they don't want it to sit on the shelf for another year. They're running out of options. And the fact of the matter is it was never going to be a big box office film anyway. Let's find a new home for it. Make the best of a bad situation. And I think more films are going to, like I said, I think more and more films are going to come across this type of a situation, this type of a predicament, if you will, uh, for this type of a scenario. So we'll, we'll see. The question I have for you guys is this. What do you think about this? First of all, what do you think about the sounds of this movie? Do you think this movie sounds any good? I, I, I don't think it sounds great. But then again, like a lot of Seth Rogen projects that don't sound great, I ended up loving them anyway. So who knows? Do you think it sounds any good? Are you excited about it? What do you think about this move to HBO? Do you think it makes sense? Do you think it was premature of them to do? I want to know what you guys think. Jump down to the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys. With that down and out of the way, um, we are now going to move on.